we are, the Beer Idiots, with Katja, who is the organizer at Hof ten Dormel of the Leuven Innovation Festival 2024. How did you choose them and how did you get involved in the festival? Uh, yeah, we, we, are, we have around 20 brewers this year. Uh, I always try to uh, get the local uh, brewers uh, participating. And then we also try to get a brewer from each region like Ghent, Antwerp, uh, Brussels and the Limburg, so every, all of Belgium is uh, incorporated in the festival. And then we have six out of the country. We have one of uh, Latvia, we have one, two out, out of Germany, we have uh, Finland, we have Spain, and we have England. Uh, and we try to get as many styles as possible, so everybody finds something they like. The festival has changed over the years, as many festivals have adjusted, some have failed. Uh, what's the big difference? Because uh, in previous years it was very heavy foreign and now we're seeing a lot of uh, Belgian brewers come through. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. What changed over the years is the innovation part is a little bit less maybe because a lot of brewers are, uh, stay, uh, they innovate all the time. So it's not something special anymore like 10 years ago, a nine, of nine years ago because this is the ninth edition. Uh, but they still make very interesting beers. Like you see that uh, they have beers with chili and beers with lingonberry and then you have a green beer. So it's a very funny color and people are always interested to try new things that they don't find in the supermarket. And that's our main interest. And one of my discoveries is of course uh, AB and Bev has re revealed their secret little strategy now in the craft market. They have a whole innovation team, and yes, I have tried the wit beer, white beer, chili. chili. Uh, yes, and we can see they gave up on that. You know, they used they bought some craft brewers, then they kind of got rid of them last year because they realized they can't do it by acquisition. Yeah. They have to really learn it. So. Yeah. What was the decision there? Because it's a good decision, I yeah, believe. But I think it's good for the beer community to see that Imbev can do something else than make uh, plain beers for the big, big crowd. And they can be very innovative also. A year ago, there was the first time they participated and it was a little, yeah, not so exciting. They, they still didn't know if, how far they could go. But this year, you see, they have a wheat beer with chili. And they have a watermelon gosa. They, they are going more out. And yesterday we visited the the yeah the testing uh, facility in Imbe, and they make like 50, uh, 553 prototypes a year. So it's crazy what they do, and the public cannot taste them. So here at Imbe, at the Leuven Innovation Festival, it's a unique opportunity to taste what the people in the facility are are doing. Yeah, with a prototype. lot of money and a lot of a lot investment. Of, yeah, they have the equipment and the money that no small brewer will ever have. So it's nice to see what they can do. And maybe some of that experience and knowledge will filter out in research papers and help craft brewers yeah, yeah. as well. What's nice Trans is that the people from the laboratory come and work themselves and it's not the marketing yes. people. Yeah, yeah. So they can uh, There's a give few people who develop yeah, the yeast yeah, there. Yeah. And they can give an explanation. They are the professionals of, of IMBEF at the the people who know everything about brewing and the, the chemical part, so it's nice that also the brewers can ask some questions and learn from it. So. And now we had a beautiful sunny festival <laughs> on a Saturday and we're going to have a completely different, lovely under the tent festival. Yeah. Still exciting. I've got to choose my place where I can stay under the rain and hit the best brewers yeah. and I think it's right close to me, yeah, behind yeah, yeah. me. We have two tents and both of them are lovely brewers, but uh, here we have some uh, meat uh, that's always interesting to experience because it's the old, oldest fermentation drink in the world and yes. it's 9,000 years old, older than beer. It's, oh, yeah. you're talking about the meat. Yeah, yeah, there's one meat. I'm talking about the whole section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but both have, sections are beautiful. And you have the the, the guys from Finland who are making wild Oh yeah, that's what I'm drinking. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm drinking. Look at this, that's an exceptional wild ale. And I actually, I talked to him, and I was talking to him about a strange experience I had. Not, I was a journalist covering development, and I was in the Kalahari Desert in Botswana, 
And here I was, you know, it was about uh, rights for the, what were called the bush people or the Kunsan. And they brought over two Sami people. Mm -hmm. And it turns out his wife has uh, got oh, Sami really? relation. And the word on his t-shirt, their thing means uh, local. Oh, it's really? a Sami word. So, you oh, know, it's nice. amazing how connections can yeah, be yeah, made yeah, of yeah. a beautiful the festival. The world is a small world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you, Katya. And thank you for organizing a great festival. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> great.